Oh shoot. What is that thing? Do you reckon that's some sort of like new structure that they've added to Minecraft? I've never seen anything like that before though. Um Well I guess the only option is to go and have a look, isn't it? <laughs> it looks quite well defended. Looks like some sort of fortress, but I can see that there's an outpost there as well. I've got no idea what that could be, but hopefully it's going to be friendly. I don't know, I can't really see anything as I'm approaching. Hopefully as I get close I'll be able to see a little bit further. Oh, there's, there's people at the top. Uh, what are they? Do you reckon they're villagers? They look like villagers. Hi guys, oh no, they're attacking! Uh, oh no! Right, I need to build a wall. I need to build a wall because they're shooting at me. Why are they attacking me? Do you reckon they think I'm an intruder? Oh, okay, right. I need to get my bow and I need to try and attack these villagers because they seem to be attacking me. Right, let's just keep shooting at them. Hopefully I'll be able to take them out and then that way then I'll be able to actually get inside the village. I don't know though, this doesn't look like it's working very well. I don't really know what else to try. Right, I can just try and get some shots, but they're just moving all over the place. It's becoming so much more difficult to hide them. Right, let's go back behind the wall, so then that way then I can try and think about what I want to do. Right, I think that the only thing to do is we're going to have to keep trying to attack them, but maybe I could try reasoning with them, so then that way then they might let me in. Right, guys, guys, I'm friendly. No, no, don't attack me. I'm friendly. Look, look, I'm going to drop all my weapons. Okay, I'm not here to attack you. I've just come, I've, I've not been here before, I have no idea where I am, I just need a little bit of help. That's it, you can pick up my stuff. I promise, no, I promise I'm friendly. I promise I'm friendly, I'm not going to attack you. Um, oh, do you, what, do, you, do you want me to go inside? Okay, it looks like they are letting me inside. It looks like they're taking me inside the fortress. Okay, um, it looks like some sort of just village. Oh, do, oh, do they want me to put my stuff in the chest? Oh, that's going to mean I'm going to have nothing. Oh, do you know what though? Let's do this, just because I don't really want to anger them, just because uh, I have technically invaded their land. So I want to make sure that I'm not that I'm not causing a threat. Um, guys, uh, I'm not here to attack. I've just stumbled across and I've got no idea where I am. So if possible, can you just help me out, please? Oh, where are you going? Oh, do you want me to follow? Why are the doors made of iron as well? Oh, no, I promise I'm friendly. I promise I'm not here to attack. Um, okay, looks like they're they're leading me somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Are they taking me to the outpost? Okay, looks like we're going inside of the the outpost. Uh, oh, we can't get through the door. And what? What are these things? They look like giant machines. Um, okay, uh, what? Do, do you want me to go upstairs? Okay, I can go upstairs. That's fine. Uh, I'm not here to attack you, I promise. Oh, there's a dog. They've got a dog in the corner. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt your dog. It's okay. I'll keep going up. Um, oh, look, they've got some sort of room. What's in these barrels? Oh, there's loads of equipment. Okay, guys, I'm not here to take your stuff. I'm going to go to the top as you, what you wanted. Um, okay, I'm at the top. I promise I'm not going to leave. Um, okay, no, I promise I'm not going to leave. Um, I'll stay here for as long as you want. And oh, it looks like they're going. Why are they going for? Um, okay, well, I'm stuck at the top of this outpost now. Do you reckon I could go back down without them seeing me? Let me try and... Let me just try and just sneak my way back down. Hopefully, if I'm really careful... And oh, there's the dog. Oh, I'll go back to the dog. Oh, where have they gone? Oh, it looks like they've gone that way. There's a camera system. Right, let's look through the cameras and let's see what's going on. Oh, they're in those suits. But what are they doing? Why are they firing TNT at the land and... Wait, what? Huh? Everything's back to normal. Wait, what? hold on. Why is everything gone back to normal? What's happened? Am I still in the fortress? Are they around? I need to have a look to double check. Are they around the place anywhere? I need to double check just to make sure. Okay, it looks like for some reason we've gone back in time. I can see them over there. I don't think they know that I'm here. I think we've gone back in time to just before I entered the fortress. So I don't think that they know that I'm here. I'm going to take this opportunity to try and sneak around and see exactly where I am though, because I'm kind of trapped here and I can't leave. I want to be so careful though that they can't see me. 
Right, let's maybe have a look inside some of these houses, see if there's anything I can use. I don't know why the doors are made of iron. Why are they being so protected for? Um, okay, there's an iron golem. There's a blacksmith here. Do you reckon I could get anything from the blacksmith? Oh, wait! I can go and get my equipment, can't I? <laughs> right, let's see if I can go and sneak to the front of the fortress. And let's see if I can get my, uh, my stuff without them seeing me. I don't think they can see me. I think they're still occupied checking outside the castle. Right, let's go and have a look. Here we go. Here's all my stuff. Right, I just want to grab all of this as sneakily as I can. I don't want them to be able to see me because if they do, I bet we're going to go into exactly the same situation I happened last time. What's this place? Um, okay, it's like some sort of brewing room. What's in this barrel? Okay, there's nothing in here. Uh, loads of brewing stands. And oh no, I took the book. Oh, where did that book go? Okay, let me just put it like there. And oh, there's a secret behind the bookshelf. Let's have a look what's down here. There's a beacon. Why is there a beacon? And why is it surrounded by red glass? And that's really suspicious. And what's down here? And what on earth is this place? This place looks creepy with all the fire and, and the walls. There seems to be a big wall at the back. And a bed as well. Who do you reckon lives here? And there's a massive desk. What's in some of these papers? Is there anything in the paper? Oh, there's books here. What do these say? Diary? Do we read it? I guess we've got to, haven't we? Hello, diary. This is my first entry into this book. I hope that this diary will help to captivate my thoughts and feelings. The village has been peaceful this week. The rivalry with the neighbouring village continues, though. I wish we could all get along. Dear diary, the village is under attack. They have taken everything. Our crops and our riches are all gone. Why did this happen to us? Whoever has done this will pay for this. Day 10. Dear diary, sorry for not writing in you for our days. After the attack in our village, I needed to help repair the damage. Our village is getting back to normal, but we need to be more protected. The village leader has proposed that we lock our doors at night. It is frightening to know that this will be what we'll have to do to keep safe. Dear diary, sorry for not writing in you for a week. Our village has suffered a second attack. Our village was damaged and we have had to repair it for a second time. This can't keep happening to us. We have hardly any resources left to survive. The village leader has told everyone to remain calm, but how can we keep calm when our lives are at risk? Day 21. Dear Diary, I wanted to write in you to express my emotions. I am angry at our village leader. He wants everyone to keep being peaceful despite the constant threat of a third attack. How can we protect ourselves if we are told to remain peaceful? This can't carry on. Day 24. Dear Diary, I have spoken to the village leader today and asked him if he thinks we could get attacked today. He said he wasn't sure. I'm so angry. Us villagers need to learn how to protect ourselves. I have a plan that I am going to set out to accomplish to ensure that the villagers get a leader that they need. Day 30. Dear Diary, my plan worked. I rallied up some of my village friends and we managed to start a protest to remove the village leader. The protest was a success. The village leader has stepped down and now they need someone to lead them. My village friends have asked me to put myself forward. I don't know if I'm ready to do it. I'm going to sleep in it and see how I feel about it tomorrow. Day 31. Dear Diary, after a long sleep I've decided to put myself forward to become village leader. Our village needs a leader who can protect them and provide what they need to survive against these horrific threats. Today I'm going to put my name forward and hopefully I will win. Day 32. Dear Diary, I've won. I am the new village leader. The village loved my ideas and said that the village needed to change. I have so many ideas for how I want the village to become. I can't wait to get started. I will write more in you when I can. Day 40. Dear Diary, sorry for not writing you for a while. My plans to improve the village are underway. My villager friends are helping to construct a mighty wall to protect our village. I am also training some of the villagers to become soldiers to monitor the village. Everything seems to be going well. Day 45. Dear Diary, last night our village was under attack for a third time. Those mighty beasts tried climbing our mighty walls but failed. The war was a success. We did lose a lot of soldiers though. I need to get more soldiers trained up. I will write in you when I have more to tell you. Day 60. Dear Diary, a lot has happened since I last spoke to you. Our village was raided by the monsters. They broke down the gate and entered our village at night. They have destroyed everything. I have no choice but to evacuate myself in the villages. 
We are currently seeking refuge in a neighbouring village. The villagers here are so friendly. I have made friends with a nerdy guy who has been telling me all about redstone. I am not very good at redstone, but he's teaching me how to use it. I will speak to you when I have more updates. Day 75. Dear Diary, since we last spoke, I've finally learned redstone. My wiring friend has taught me everything, and I've been even been able to make my first contraption. Tomorrow he is teaching me how to make more complicated contraptions. I can't wait. Day 77. Dear Diary, my mood today is low. Myself and some of the other villagers are feeling homesick. We miss our old village and our normal lives. The villagers here have been great, but I wish we could go back home. I have promised them that I will come up with a plan, and that is what I intend to do. I don't have a plan as of yet, but when I do, I will be sure to tell you all about it. Day 80. Dear Diary, I have a plan to get back home. I will send two scouts on a mission to check out the village, and then they will come back and tell me if the invaders have gone. If it is safe enough to go home, then we will. We will have to do a lot of repairing, but I am hoping that we will be able to go home. I will let you know how it goes. Day 85. Dear Diary, my plan failed. The invaders are too strong. I sent two soldiers out to scout the village and they were ambushed. One of them managed to survive and come back to the neighbouring village to tell me. I can't believe how strong the invaders have become. Our equipment is too weak. It is time that we were upgraded. I am not entirely sure how I will upgrade their equipment, but I will think of a plan. Dear Diary, Day 88. A lot has happened since we last spoke. I have had an idea of to how we to improve our equipment. Using my new redstone and wiring knowledge, I've designed mechanical suits. The soldiers can sit in these suits and be protected and also use powerful ranged weapons. I've done several tests and experiments and the suits are sturdy and strong. I can't wait to take them back to the village and show these invaders that we are not to be messed with. Tomorrow me and my villagers will take these suits back to the village to kick out the intruders. We want our village back. I will let you know what happens. Day 89. Dear Diary, my plan worked. The invaders did not stand a chance against our mechanical suits and the fleed from the village. The village is back under our control. They've destroyed a lot of our buildings and have built their own watchtower inside. But we can now start to get back to how we was before. It has been a long day, but I will come back to you when I can. Day 92. Dear Diary, our village is starting to look the way it did before. We also converted the invaders tower into a watchtower for us to use. We also changed the materials to make it look less menacing. The villagers seem so much happier. It is good to be back. I am currently decorating my own house, so I must get back to it. Day 95. Dear Diary, the invaders have found a flaw to the suits. They used water to disable them. They managed to take out half of my soldiers. I need another plan. Any ideas? I guess not. I'll have to come up with one. I will let you know what I come up with. Day 100. Dear Diary, as lot has happened since we last spoke. I came up with a plan. It is time that we dealt with those pesky invaders once and for all, and to take the battle to them. I don't want to send any soldiers, so I have came up with a plan. Using my knowledge of science and redstone, I intend to create my own creature that can hunt those invaders down and remove them forever so that we can live in peace. So far I'm still making the blueprints for it, but the idea cannot possibly fail. Day 105. Dear Diary, the creature has been made. I need to activate it and I plan to do it tonight. It is quite horrific to look at and I am hoping that I will send a message to those invaders that we are not to be messed with. I am activating it tonight at midnight. Wish me luck. Day 120. Dear Diary, I apologise for not writing you for weeks but my plan seems to have worked. The invaders have not showed up. I am getting a little worried about my monster though. I hope it's okay. I will let you know what happens next. Dear Diary, Day 122. I am terrified. I saw it last night, the creature. I looked out from the top of the wall and there it was, in the forest, staring at me with a tilted head. I think something has malfunctioned. It isn't working properly. The villagers still not know about the creature and I don't want them to. If they found out that I made it and have created a new potential threat to our village then they will all hate me and remove me from being their village leader. I need to think of a plan. Day 125. Dear Diary, the villagers are getting sceptical about my leadership. I can't believe that they are starting to not trust me. They know something is up but I can't tell them the truth. I'm going to have to think of a way to stop them from not trusting me. I will report back when I can. 
Dear Diary, Day 126. I have a plan. I've created a new machine that will reverse time. By harnessing the power of the sun and the moon, I can send a powerful beam into the sky that will reverse time. It is a genius idea, if I must say. The villagers will not remember a thing and our village can stay peaceful forever. Day 130. Dear Diary. My time reversing beam activated for the first time last night. The villagers do not remember a thing. Everything that is happening this morning has repeated itself. The beam is working great. My soldiers are also on high alert. Okay, that seems to be the end of that book. That was interesting. D135, Dear Diary, the creature came back. It was there exiting the forest before the first beam activated. It almost came into the village. Somehow the beam has set that exact moment at the exact time to rewind. The machines are now on high alert. The guards know that something is up, but I don't dare them to tell them the truth. I need a plan, and fast. Dear Diary, Day 140. I am afraid that this will be our last conversation. I've decided that I need to cover up the monster by framing something else. I will be travelling far and wide to the Great Pyramid to summon the gods of war. I have managed to use science to replicate the famous awakening opal. If I have done it correctly, they should awaken when I place it. I have told the guards about the gods and that they are the ones at work bringing war to the village and they believe me. Awakening these gods will be a latter of life or death for me. If you do not hear back from me again, then I did not make it back. Thank you diary for being a place for me to express my thoughts along my long journey. You are a good friend. Wow, so... This guy documented his entire life, put all of his thoughts and feelings into this book. Right, let's put these books back so we can keep them safe. I've got no idea. I've got to go and find this Great Pyramid. I need to go and get answers from whichever creature was awakened. Right, I need to go and have a look. Hopefully the villagers are not going to be allowed uh, around for me to go and have a look. Right, I've got no option. I need to go and travel to this Great Pyramid and I need to go and get answers from whatever machine or creature or whatever it is has been awakened over there using that stone. God, I have no idea where this pyramid is though. Hopefully it's not going to be too far. God, I've got a lot of walking that I need to do, but I guess I'll come back in with you once I've managed to at least find the desert. Right, I'm in the desert. All I need to do now is look around and hopefully I will be able to find this pyramid. The thing is, is I've got no idea what this pyramid looks like. It could look like absolutely anything. All I need to do is find the pyramid and maybe, hopefully, this thing is still going to be there for me to have a conversation with. I need to be on guard though because I've got no idea what could have awakened. I have no clue what I could be going up against with. There could be something far stronger than me, and I need to make sure that I'm on guard. I've got my weapons at hand, ready to use. Right, let's see if we can spot anything in the different distance. I can't see anything so far. Hopefully we're going to be able to come across something, though. Oh, what's that? I see something. Right, let's start making our way over. Hopefully, whatever it is, is going to be friendly, or at least is going to be something I can deal with. Oh my god. The pyramid, is, that's got to be the pyramid. It looks destroyed. Oh, I'm guessing the guy never made it. Otherwise, he'd have come back. I can start to understand now why this was a matter of life and death for him. The whole pyramid is just gone. Right, we need to make our way over. I need to go and try and reason with whatever creature was awakened here. Assuming that it's still here. Okay, I can't see anything so far. Let's just sneak up and let's... Why is there giant craters everywhere? Hopefully. Oh my god! What is that? Is it gonna attack me? Oh my god, I think it's attacking me! Right, I need to try and shoot it with the bow. Right, I need to. Oh no! Oh my god, it's knocking me around the place. Oh no, and it's shooting fireballs at me! Right, I need to just try and just. Oh my god! Okay, it's creating massive craters in the floor. I need to try and just escape from this thing because it seems to be massive and it's got some real firepower. Oh my god, it's knocking me around the place. I don't think this thing's killable. Oh my god, and it's just exploding the floor. Right, I need to try and just get out of here as quickly as I can. Right, I just need to go somewhere. Oh my god, it's knocking me closer to the water. If I drown, I'm not going to be able to uh, escape. I'm not going to be able to sort to it. Oh my god, I'm in the water. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's take off my armour. Let's take off my armour and let's hide in the water. If I hide in the water, it might not be able to see me. I don't know if it can spot me. I think it's looking for me. But it can't see me. Okay, we just stay close. 
Hopefully, oh my god, no, it can see me. It can see me. Uh, right, I need to breathe. If I breathe, then that way, then I'm going to be able to escape. Right. Okay, I think I've managed to escape from it. Okay, I can't see it around. So I wonder if it's retreated back to the pyramid. Right, I need to have a look. Let's go and have a look at the top and let's see if we're going to find wherever this thing is. That thing is just ridiculous. Oh my god, it's here! Right, I need to just escape. Oh my god, look at the crater it's creating. Right, I just need to try and just get out of this pit before I die. It's going to kill me. Uh, right, I just need to get out. It's just destroying everything. I can't escape the pit every time I try. It's just destroying everything around me. No, it's not me back into the water. Right, I just need to try and just shoot this thing down with all my firepower. Right, let's just put my armor back on. Actually, no, let's not put the armor back on. Let's just try and do this. It seems to be trying to get back onto the land. Right, I just need to try and reason with this thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it. And I think if I keep trying to, I think eventually it's going to kill me and I'm going to have no chance. Right, let's just try and reason with this thing. That's the only thing I can do. There's not really much else I can. I need to find where it's gone though. It doesn't seem to be very friendly, but hopefully if I prove to it that I'm not threatening, hopefully it's going to uh, allow me to at least tell, uh, ask it some questions. Right, no, right, here we go. Look, all of my weapons. I'm throwing them down. I'm not here to attack you. I just want to talk to you. No, I promise I'm just here to talk. Okay, I think it's picked up all my stuff. I think that's why it just charged forward. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's pile up so I can at least talk to this thing. If I can talk to it, I can find out more of its backstory. Right, let's just pile up and hopefully I'm going to be able to talk to this thing. Right, this should be high enough. What happened? Why were you awakened? And why are the villagers so defensive? So you have come to ask me questions. All I can say is the foolish villagers swore me to cover up his own mistakes. The real threat is not myself, I have come in peace. I only defend when I feel I'm like being threatened. The real threat is hiding in the forest. That's what the foolish villagers dare to not understand. So the villagers framed you to cover up their own mistake? But the villagers don't even know the real threat is you're not the threat whatsoever the real threat is hiding in the forest this is correct the true threat hides in the forest waiting for the perfect moment only a brave warrior should go in to face it and finally save the village and the world from this threat okay right thank you mech i do appreciate the conversation um i promise i told you i wasn't here to hurt you um okay um Right, I guess I'm going to have to go back to the village and I'm going to have to go and tell the villagers about this. Thank you, Mech. I promise that when this is all over, I will set you free. Right, let's go back to the village. I need to go and tell the villagers about what's been going on because this Mech has been framed for being the one at threat, but it's not the Mech. The Mech is not the threat. The threat is hiding in the forest and the villagers have no idea. Right, I'm back at the village. Hopefully... I'm going to be able to see the villagers. Of course, remember that time was rewound. Right, it seems like it hasn't got to night time yet. Hopefully, if I get back over, I can get there just in time before the villagers um, get rewound. Right, let's see if I can go back. Okay, they're over there. Villagers, I'm not here to harm you. No, I'm not here to harm you. Right, I guess I'm going to have to do the same thing again, aren't I? Right, here's my equipment. Look, I'm not here to harm you. I just want to, I just want to talk. I've got something I need to tell you, something really important. There you go, there's my axe. You can take my axe. See, I'm not here to harm you. Okay, it's okay. Can I go into the village and can we chat? Because I'm going to need to chat to you about something important. I can? Right, let's go into the village then. Right, villagers, I need to tell you about something. I've got something really important. Follow me through here. Right, if you come through here, look, I've discovered something. I discovered a secret in the fireplace, in the in the brewing room. And if we go down here, you can see that there's this beacon room. This beacon was used to reverse time, and in here, there was books. There's a diary that's been written, and it's recalled the story of your village leader throughout the last 140 days. I know everything that's actually happened. What has happened is not the truth, I can promise you. Honestly, I need you to believe me. You believe me? Okay, that's good. Do you have anything that you can show? Oh, why are they taking me? Why, where are we going? 
Are we going back up to the top? What is it that they want to show me? Okay, right. It looks like the villagers are leading me somewhere. Where are they taking me? Uh, oh, over here. Oh, yeah, look, there's a lever. Right. What does this lever do? Oh, what's down here? Uh, I guess let's go and have a look and see what's at the bottom of this ladder. What is this place? Our plan. Number one, avenge our leader. That must be the guy who wrote the diary. Day two, destroy the robot. No, you can't destroy the robot. He's not the threat. And number three, oh, make bread. Well, I guess even villagers have got to have their priorities, haven't they? Guys, I've just got something to tell you. It's nothing to do with the robot. The robot is not the threat. The threat was created by your leader as a way to try and get rid of the invaders. But it's the invaders that are now gone and the monster is the one hunting. All I ask is that you let me go into the forest and take out whatever creature is hiding in there. And that way then your village can finally be at peace. Do you let me? Can we go? Okay, it looks like they're letting me. Right, let's go back to the outpost. If this works, hopefully, thing is, is I have no idea if there even is going to still be in there. I have no idea how long ago this creature was set free. Right, let's go back in. Right, guys, am I allowed to go into the forest to go and have a look and see if I can find this creature? Yes, I am. Okay, that's good. Can I take the dog with me just as a bit of moral support? Okay, and I promise... Oh, you've destroyed your own mech. I promise whatever it drops or whatever thing I can get from the creature to promise that I'm telling the truth, I will bring it. It's getting night time, though. Right. Okay, thank you, guys. Wish us luck. Right, dog, come with me. Right, we're going to have to go into there, and we're going to have to see if hopefully we can find whatever creature is inside. Okay, this is looking very dark so far. I am a little bit scared. Let's get my equipment out ready. Just so I'm ready for whatever is in this forest. I've got no idea what it is. But hopefully whatever is in here is going to be not as much of a threat to me. Right, dog, come with me. That way then we can we can go together. Okay, it looks like so far the forest is pretty peaceful. I can understand now why the villagers were trying to defend this again with the mechs. They were thinking that it was the mechanical creature coming after them. But it wasn't. Right, let's just keep having a look. So we're looking out for something. We've got to be on guard all the time because we have no idea what could be attacking us. Right, let's just keep going and let's hope that we can find whatever it is that's lurking in here. Because we need to stop it before we can put another potential attack on the village. The villagers were thinking that it was the mech and the invaders. It wasn't, it was this creature all along. Right, there seems to be the base. We need to keep that at guard. What's up here? Is there anything? Oh my god, what is that? What is that thing? Right, let's see if we can... Oh my god! Oh my god! Right, we just need to run away. What is that thing? Why is it screaming? I can't see a thing. Right. Let's hope. What's that? Can I radio static? What is this thing? Right, let's try shooting it with the bow. There we go. I'm managing to get some shots. Oh no, it's screaming! Right, we need to try and attack this thing. What's it doing? Why is it screaming at me? Right, let's just go in with the sword. That's it, dog. Try and attack as well. We need to try and defeat this thing. Okay, looks like the dog's doing some good damage. Let's see if we can attack this thing. Oh no, sorry, mate. No, I need to go and heal the dog because this isn't even my dog. I need to try and heal it because otherwise it's, I'm gonna, it's gonna die. Right, there we go. Right, you sit there, mate. Right, I'll deal with this thing by myself. Oh my God, it hits so hard. Right, I need to just try and just keep it at bay. It seems to be so incredibly fast though. Right, let's just try and let's just try and take this thing out. It's so strong. It seems to just be dealing so much damage against us. Oh my God, this thing is so powerful. Right, let's just keep attacking it. We just need to keep attacking it before it eventually kills us. Hopefully we're going to be able to do it. I'm gonna, I'm getting so weak though. It's gotta be weak as well. Hopefully we're gonna be able to kill it. I'm doing so much damage. There we go, we've done it. Oh, what's it dropped? What's this? Blood of the creature? i got blood! We've done it! We've managed to defeat it! Oh, where's the dog? Oh, where did, where's it gone? Did it not die? Oh my god, it's alive! I'm so sorry, mate! I didn't mean to hit you! Right, there we go. Have some mutton. Oh, I've just realised you haven't got a name either. Oh dear, hopefully we'll be able to come up with one when we get back. Oh, right. I need to go back to the village. 
and I need to go and show these villagers that I've managed to take it out and hopefully now they'll be able to believe me I'm hoping also that they've managed to disable whatever that machine was that was reversing time it looks like they have which is good oh guys look I've got it I've got the blood here look the blood of the creature look I managed to defeat it you can finally live at peace your village is safe oh man that is so good to know that you are finally at peace you can finally stop being on guard you can live a normal life live a peaceful life oh and now i've got the dog and thank you dog and do you know what i realized that the dog doesn't have a name and i think it's about time that we gave it a name so oh i don't have any wood on me so i'll tell you what let me go and let me go and cut down some wood from a tree and i'm going to give this dog a name and I think that after what's happened today, I think I know exactly what the dog should be called. Right, let me go and get some of these, uh, some of these trees, uh, some of this wood, sorry, so I can go and cut down these trees. Right, dog, let me make a sign so I can display what your new name is. <laughs> that was so awesome. I'm so glad that I've finally been able to solve the mystery. Right, let me make a sign. And I think that the perfect name is Hero the dog so welcome hero you finally got a name the village is finally at peace guys you can live a normal life oh this is so good the mystery's finally been solved your village is finally at peace after years of conflict with villagers and monsters and now you can finally live at peace oh this is so good but i think i'm ready to go back to my own land to my own peaceful land so I think in the next video we're not going to go build, we're going to have a day of rest, maybe we'll go and play some games, we'll have something enjoyable, we'll do something fun as a way to celebrate this miraculous achievement. So thank you guys for your help today, uh, I hope everyone has had a good Halloween and I would just want to say thank you all for watching and I'll see you all at some point. Peace.